Good morning. How are you today? Well, it's uh, cold and gray, and they're talking about snow flurries, but I'm dressed to be as warm as I can be. <laughs> Luxuriating in warmth on inaugural day. In my experience, and I've been through several inaugurations, they're all cold. And so this one in the 30s going into the low 40s is going to be warm compared to ones I attended in the past. I'm not attending this one any more than you are probably virtually. But I can tell you that I had two vantage points to see inaugura inaugurations. One is I was, I was working on the hill. And so I only had to walk a, a block from my office. But it was so cold I went back to my office. And on the way I ran into John Conyers, who was then the ranking member of the House Judiciary, who had appointed me to the Judiciary Committee, a special counsel. John, why aren't you out there? He gave me a ticket. Well, I used it, and I, I don't know how I would have gotten through it if I wasn't bundled up. As for the other inauguration that is in contrast to that when I wasn't on the Hill, my wife Holly and I <clears throat> went up for uh, Obama's uh, second inauguration, and we got there some ungodly hour in the morning. And it was eerie. The streets were absolutely empty, uh, except for those of us with our different colored tickets to get to places to see the inauguration. And I understand some people will be there for this one as well, but it'll be warmer. It's a special and exciting day. The ritual of transition is important. Not since uh, John Adams left the Capitol uh, at 4.15 a.m., when Jefferson was going to be sworn in, have we had a president absent himself in the line of succession to the next president? But, you know, Trump has always been a pathetic individual in his isolated, bully, amoral status. Uh, so we're not surprised, but there's a part of us that recoils from this kind of man who in his closing moments signs 143 pardons for Bannon and others. A couple of lawyers apparently profited getting these uh, pardons. And I'm sure we'll study more of this in the days ahead. In the meantime, we have Biden coming into office who's uh, prepared with executive orders to make a difference to immigration and the environment. is sending a bill to Congress for that purpose. His cabinet officers are being cleared uh, as we speak. And he shows heart. He shows not only is he going to fight the virus and make us as a nation whole again and bring back our business in a safe, in a safe environment, but he cares about the people who've been hurt. And so yesterday, they had a memorial for the, for the 400,000 Americans who died because of the virus. And he spoke, I think, to the soul of the nation, as he promised at the beginning of his campaign, uh, that this is not a situation in which there's a an object relation to subjects. These are people who are all alike, and he's caring to help those in pain and, and suffering. Also, when do you remember <laughs> Trump ever quoting poetry? And yesterday, uh, Biden, when leaving Delaware, he quoted uh, Jimmy J. Joyce, an Irish poet, and he said that uh, his friends wondered why he only quoted from Irish poets, uh, and they wondered if it was because he was Irish, and he said, no, it's because they're the best. And uh, how Joyce said that his heart was in Dublin. And yesterday, as he left uh, Delaware, he said it's on his heart as well. Uh, Yeats, another Irish poet of some repute, fabulous uh, in so many other ways, he said there's an, uh, an Irish curse uh, that the Irish 
dream things the world has never seen. And some might say that's frustrating, but in my experience, Irish and others who dream things the world has never seen make it possible for these dreams to come true because they believe, because they think about it, they fight for it, and they have the resolve. And Joe Biden comes into the White House at a time of uh, our grave, grave challenges. Uh, not just the ones we've mentioned, which is the, the pandemic and bringing back business and social justice and racial justice, but we have the enemy within, which is no small problem. I'm hoping that McConnell is signaling that he appreciates that as well. And on some level, he may help us form a government again, which will have its own severe disagreements. So it's a day of excitement and uh, I'm walking, so I won't miss it. I'm walking before the inauguration and the events start. So uh, just settle back, pop that champagne court and celebrate the beginning of the restoration of the Republic. All the best. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.